welcome within the deep end with nicole omen today is the first video of my healing series uh, i am going to be talking about the ho'oponopono healing method now you may have heard of this method before it's an ancient hawaiian tradition but how i do it is a little bit different maybe from a traditional standpoint uh, because I actually download, downloaded this on my own. So I do it in my own Nikki type of way, but I like it and I think it translates very well to our modern society. So I'll give you a little background of how I found it. Um, I actually picked it up on a healing ayahuasca ceremony. Um, I was in ceremony and I was being shown a lot of old trauma in my life and a few phrases started coming through me and as these phrases would bubble up i would say them and it would heal a deep core part of myself and so after i got out of ceremony i brought this technique to my clients and one day one of my clients said to me you know you're using the whole ponopono and i was like i don't know a what a I don't know what that is so I looked it up and uh, I found a lot of other people using this sort of technique for very magical miraculous healings in their lives so these are the basic principles for the Ho'oponopono method now I call them the four phrases that will heal the world now they're very simple even a child can do them and I think that when we have a simple practice that they really, it's universal, and they really can hit something very core in our lives. So the four phrases, and this is the way that I downloaded them, so you can change them up if you want, but this is my technique. The first one is, I'm sorry. The second one is, please forgive me. The third is, thank you. And the fourth one is, I love you. Now, let me break them down a little bit so we can understand the technique a little bit more. Not to get too much in our heads, but I really want to give you a basic understanding. So, I'm sorry and forgive me. I, sometimes I lump those two in together. Uh, I'm sorry is a form of taking responsibility for whatever has happened in your life. Now, the taking responsibility is a very interesting understanding. So if you understand that we are creating, we are part creators of everything that happens in our life, then if you could take responsibility and really sit into that, you can really heal your experience in the now. Now when I found this technique, I had to say I'm sorry for something that was done to me, right? But somewhere in my soul was an agreement that I would have to go through this. So somewhere, maybe unconsciously, I have to take responsibility. And even when I was saying, I'm sorry, and I had to say it over and over and over again, that little talky voice, that like personality voice was saying, well, why are you taking, why are you apologizing for it? It wasn't your fault. But I knew deeper in a deeper place that if I just kept saying, I'm sorry, something was moving. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, and to, to this day, Logically, I don't really understand why I had to apologize, but I know it worked. So taking responsibility and saying, I'm sorry. The humility of please forgive me, right? Please forgive me, please forgive me, the I, the one. And then going into the next phase, which is thank you. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for life. Thank you for my humility. It doesn't matter what you're thanking for. You, you end up in a place of gratitude. And when you end up in a great place of gratitude, it not only heightens our vibration, but there's an acceptance. There's a totality that happens. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you, right? There's a wholeness that happens in gratitude. And then the last, but certainly not least, is I love you. I love you ties everything together. I love you is the basis of what we're created with is love, right? So this deep, deep core love, I love you. 
and allow that to resonate. And that's a very high vibration. That's why I do, uh, I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you, I love you, because it's heightening, heightening the vibration one level at a time. And now, so there is a method to my madness. So this is how you use it. Uh, I use it for a deep core healing. So an old trauma, you could take it and clean what that is. So I'm sorry, forgive me, I thank you, I love you, as you envision something that's happened in your life. You could also do it for those kind of petty thoughts that you have. Oh, I hope I don't get in a car accident today. Ooh, I don't want that reality to happen. I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you, I love you. Clean it from a possibility, right? Uh, also, if you start going into that mind chatter, you can stop, when you have that awareness, you could stop yourself by saying the mantra, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. And if you start thinking bad about somebody, you can clear it as well. And you can use it in any form that you see fit. Now this is a beautiful mantra. You can use it as a mantra and just clean whatever needs to be cleaned, whatever is present in the moment. But this is something, this is something I'm gifting to you. So use it as your higher self sees fit. Because you can clear deep trauma with this simple technique. And I hope it serves you well, because I know it serves me well. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me at omenwellness at gmail.com. And please subscribe to my channel. It really just warms my heart to see people really resonate with what my message is and we can share it with others. Thanks a lot. See you next time.